All right, everyone, welcome back. In our last tutorial, we left off with just a little rectangle that's getting drawn on a screen. We're going to do in this second tutorial something that's very unhelpful, doesn't really move us closer to having a working game, but it's oh so satisfying. We're going to add in some sprites. So the sprites we're going to add in are... Um, Oh, and remember, uh, the, the code is up on my GitHub. I'll have links to that uh, if you want to just start off from the last tutorial. So um, I'm going to use some of these free resources that this great guy Kenny is offering. So we're going to use two uh, sprite packs from him. We're going to use the top-down tanks Redux. Uh, so we can download that. And then we're also going to use the Sokoban. Sokoban. So, uh, whatever we're gonna use this one as well for our person so um, in our project we're gonna go and do new folder we'll do one for images and another that we'll use later for our maps okay then we will load up this first pack go into the uh, PNG, default size, and we are looking for player, and I think it's player 5 that we want. It's not going to be too complicated right now, but just player 5. That's who we want. We'll just rename it to player. And then in our other pack, we don't need anything from there right now. We are just going to grab the PNG, default size, we're going to use tile grass, and yeah, let's grab both of those. So just drag those in, and just rename it to grass1 and grass2, grass1, grass2. Okay, so we have our images ready to go. Let's get back to the code, and we're going to um, first modifier player to have a sprite. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him a self dot image. Okay, so that image is going to be equal to a pi game dot image dot load. And we're going to point it towards our images directory that we created. And that was player dot PNG. So now the, uh, the image is loaded. Now the image is 64 by 64. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, resize it to our scale. So that's self image dot equals pi game dot transform. Transform dot scale. And we're going to scale self dot image. And then the scale we're going to put it to is, remember our config file, config.scale by config.scale. Okay, then in our render, instead of this drawing this rectangle, what we want to do is we want to say screen dot split and we're going to do self dot image then we also need to pass it in a rectangle so that rectangle is going to be based on the position so we're going to go over here do self dot rect equals and up here we'll just set that self dot rect equals so it's going to be a pi game dot rect and it's basically going to be this whole thing here. So we can just copy that, paste that in there. That should be fine. Oops. Uh, okay, so that, and then we're also going to update the rectangle on update position. Okay, so then when we draw it, we pass it ourselves dot rect. Oops. Okay, so get rid of that line, don't need it anymore, and let's see if that's working. And there's our little sprite. Now obviously that's pretty small. So, 
what we can do is we can just come into our config file and say, you know what, we're actually going to make it 32 is our, uh, is our scale, our tiles going to be 32 pixels wide. So we just all modify it in one place and then it updates it everywhere, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so now our guy's walking around. That's pretty cool. Um, let's make a map. Okay, so how we're going to do maps is we're going to make it text-based, uh, at least to start. It might become more complicated later, but right now, so we're just going to make our first map called o1.txt. And what we're going to do is it's just going to be like a G. That's going to be a grass. W would be water. R would be road. Something like that, right? So right now we're just going to do this. Let's put in... Um, so that's... I'm putting the spaces just for readability. Uh, you don't have to put those in, but okay, so that's five across. Let me pull up my calculator here. And uh, so we know that our, right now our screen is 600 across pixels, but we're actually gonna change that to 640 because that's gonna divide nicely by 32. So we're gonna change it to 640, divide it by 32, means that we are 20 uh, tiles across. And as right now it's 400, we're going to change that to 480, so it divides nicely by 32, and that's going to be 15. So we need it basically um, 20 across, 15 down. So this is 5 right now, so we need to copy this, paste it, uh, so it's 10, 15, 20, so that's good. Then we're going to get rid of that last new line, then we're going to copy this 15 times. So we're going to save that. That's our map. It's all grass right now, but um, you'll see how we use this. So then in our game file, what we're going to do in the setup is we're going to do self.load underscore map, and we're going to pass it the, file, the, uh, the map name, which will be 01. And then we'll alt enter here, add the method. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, with... And then we're going to open the file. So with open, and the file name is going to be uh, maps, which is that directory that we created, plus, and this param name that needs to be renamed to file underscore name, something like that. So we'll do file underscore name plus dot txt. And uh, that's all we need. So we're going to say as map file the name of the variable. So now we're going to loop through all the uh, the lines in the map file. So we're going to say for line in map file. Sometimes I love how Python reads. It's just it's really nice. Um, okay, so we're looping through all of these map files. Then we what we want to do is we in uh, each of these lines we want to loop through each tile. Number two characters represent a uh, tile. So to do that, we're going to go through a range. So we're going to say for i in range from 0 to length, length line, I think it's subtract 1 because there's a new line. Let's actually make sure that we have a new line. It's definitely not the most precise way of doing this, but I think it's going to work for us for now. So um, line minus one, and then we're going to say, uh, we're going to increment by two to skip that space. So, okay, so now we're looping through everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a map object. So self.map equals an array. Now in the array, what we're going to do is for each line, we're going to do self.map.append and we're going to append a new array. Now we need a count. So let's, uh, we want to count here of which, uh, which line at the map that we're on. So we're going to say count equals zero. And then, um, actually I think we can do this differently. Let's see. We're going to do this at the end of looping through. We're going to append self.map append. At the start, we're going to say uh, 
whatever, map line equals an empty array. Then for each of these, we're going to say map line dot append, and we're going to append the character. So to get the character, we need this line and then the position, which is i. So I think that's fine. Then at the end of looping through all the, uh, the tiles in each of the map, we are going to append the map line. I don't know, this should maybe be called tiles. Is that clear? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so that should be pretty good. Let's just, um, let's see what we have at the end of here. So at the end of loading this map, we're gonna do input to stop execution. And we're going to print self dot map pring print. So let's see what we have. So we run that. And let's see file not found map 01.txt uh, map because it's maps not map. Save that rerun. And okay, so we can see now we have all these arrays. They should each be, so each line should be 20 across and um, there should be 15 of them. Cool. Now we never actually changed our uh, sizing. So let's actually add that in our um, config. So we're gonna do screen underscore height equals 480 and screen underscore width equals, oh, I did that backwards, so that's 480. This is 640, right? I think that's what we said. Okay, so then in our main, when we create, this is going to actually be config dot screen width and config dot screen height. Okay. Um, so that's all cool. Now we need to render our map. So in our render, in our render, uh, no, sorry, in our update, I guess. I wonder if game should have a render loop. Probably at some point we'll break that apart, but right now we'll just do self.render map. Yeah, self.render map and we might as well pass it the screen even though it already has access to the screen so whatever so we'll add method there render map and what we will do is it's going to be very similar to the player render um well not really okay so yeah not at all okay so we need to loop through our map now so we're going to do four uh, I guess line, why not, in self.map. So we're looping through each of those lines. Then we're going to say for tile in line. Then we, what we want to do is we want to create an image for each of those tiles. So in our player, we created an image at the start for our player. So there's only one image. Um, for the player. Each time we loop through, we don't want to create a new image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a dictionary in our game class. Well, outside of our game class, but we can access it in our game class. And that will have a image for each tile. Then all we need to do is provide it the rectangle of where to draw it. So what that's gonna look like is, I guess we'll do it, uh, call it map underscore tiles, is that an okay? tile images, there we go. And it's gonna be a dictionary, so that's a Python dictionary, and we're gonna give the key is going to be the corresponding tile uh, character in the map, so that's G, and then we just assign it to an image. So we can just copy this and do, uh, so images, and this will just be grass one, I think was the, uh, the name there, yeah, so grass one. So, that should be cool. Um, 
guess the only thing is if we can scale it in here as well. So let's see if we can actually do that. Um, so let's copy this, paste that there, and then the scale is going to be config dot scale by config dot scale. Okay. Let's see if that works. So the image is going to be this map tile image. The index is going to be the tile, which is the character that we've saved in the self.map. Then we need a rectangle. So rect equals, let's go back to our player class and we'll just grab this, paste that there. So not self.position, but it's actually going to be um, the the position of the tile. So to get the position of the tile, we'll just create a y position variable equals to zero. Then we'll create an x underscore position equal to zero in here. At the end of this for loop, we increment our y position. And then in here, we increment our x position. So then we replace, sorry, did I do that right? Yeah, that's right. So, we replace self.position with y position and self.position zero with x position. What am I missing here? Unresolved reference x underscore position. I messed something up here. Oh, missing this opening. Okay, sorry, that's, neither of those are supposed to be there. Okay, then we draw it. So remember that screen dot blit, and it's the image, which we've just created here, and then the rectangle, which we've just created there, so rect. And let's see how that looks. We don't need this anymore. So we're gonna run it. Uh, so something went wrong there. That's supposed to be wider than that is. We still have an input somewhere we gotta get rid of, but so the error is saying unhashable type list. So why is that saying it's unhashable? Because, so let's first just get rid of that input line. And why is this not working here? Uh, let's just print this tile to see what we have. To print tile and then see what it is we're going to input. I think this tile might might be a bit wrong. So input there. Right, so we're going through our lines in self.map. Then we're going through our tiles in line. So that's not right. Something's wrong there. I think we messed up with our appending. So let's see. So our map object is a list. We append Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be there. Let's try that. I think we appended a list of a single list there. Sorry about that. I, th I think that's what happened. Let's see. Yep, that's better. So now we're printing out a single tile. Okay, so let's stop this. We'll get rid of this debugging. 
Uh, we don't need that either. Uh, we'll keep that in. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Let's, so let's fix that uh, the drawing. I think I have it backwards. It's backwards. So first it's height, then it's width. Nope, I had it right, I had it wrong in the config. Okay, so, yeah, so this is 640. That's the width, that's the height. Okay, so now we run, and what do you know? We have our green grass. Okay, so final thing we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go in and we're going to make a little pond. So I'm changing these G's to W's, just to make a little pond. And I will save that now in the uh, game, we need to add W to this dictionary. So we add a comma and we paste that, Let's see W there. Uh, so this is going to be water. I don't actually have a water tile yet. So let's uh, look back at the tiles that we downloaded from Kenny. So it should be in a tile water, hopefully he has. Tile grass, um, any water. <laughs> he has sand, he has grass. It's not what I wanted to do. How do I? Okay, here we go. Tile grass, tile sand. Okay, no water. So I'm going to go back to his site and look for a tile set that actually has water. So I think I can search. Fish pack, that might have water. Nope, that's not what I want. So 2D, 2D, water, darn. Um, road textures, is that gonna be good? RPG base maybe? This should work. So I'm just gonna download this. Okay, we're just looking for something simple here. So I'm gonna open this up go into PNG, and he has not titled any of these. That's fine, I'm just gonna create a new folder here. Test, drag all these in. And I'm going to try and find that water tile. Not there, there we go. Okay, wonderful water. So I'll just paste that in here, call it water. And uh, just delete this for now. Okay, back to our code. So everything should be set up now to, uh, to render there. So now when our uh, map parser comes and gets to these W's and then goes to render them, it's gonna hopefully, if it works, render a water sprite, not a grass sprite. Let's see if it works. And there it is. So obviously we can still walk over it, but it's there. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here and um, I guess next tutorial we'll make that water unpassable and then maybe we'll start uh, having some monsters appear and fight. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And remember the code will be up on the uh, GitHub. So look for that. Thanks guys.